Welcome everyone, and today we're gonna talk about uh, disintegration and how to play. Welcome, uh, my name is Fusa, and today we're gonna talk about how you move other units in, in, in the game, how to fly around, how, how to shift, like basic movement and uh, control, and how you can train it yourself. Because um, they, they have solo mode. If you're just interested of the story, you can you can do that. But you can also do the multiplayer and how you effectively can train yourself to get better at the at the game. So yeah, and this integration is uh, developed by uh, We One Interactive, it, a small team on 30, 30 people, and uh, Marcus Lito. The co-creator of Halo uh, is uh, one of the people behind the game, so we might see some influences. So yeah, if you don't know much about the game, you can uh, look it up on Steam. I will put a link down below as well. But uh, it's a pretty much uh, humans are gone. But uh, not, I haven't played the story yet. But uh, pretty much, I mean, you 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 are a robot, and but. But uh, there's still some uh, human remains. We will be playing through the story, so you should check out my Twitch. Uh, I will also put the story here on YouTube as well. But uh, yeah, let's go to how to play. A unit movement. You know, the fun stuff. Mm. So this is your gravity cycle, which you you will be using quite a lot. And here you can choose in campaign, multiplayer, training, and it's the training tab you want to go to. Mm, so you can do the multiplayer sandbox, but if you're really really new, you should uh, go to the training center. And you can replay this multiple times. Hello, and welcome to the Grav Cycle Training Program. I will be your guide. Let's start simple. Look up at the red light. So, you, see, you did see that box? There we go. And, and down at the red light. You got it. If you'd like to flip those controls, you can access them in the options menu. When you're ready, proceed to the next area. So, pretty much, do as what the delay says. You'll need to use your Just listen. control to navigate through the tunnel ahead. So, if you don't know where the shift key is, um, we go here, we go up, and the control for going down, so it's, it's these two keys, down on the keyboard. You, and you can also just go to the settings and rearrange these keys. Oh yeah, that spacebar, it's awesome. So, here you will be flying up and down, and it's really smooth and flawless. Like it's a long time uh, I've seen something like Your grass so has smooth. Directional thrusters. You can use boost control to avoid enemy fire. So now we did those two things. Now uh, we can we have a small boost. Then we will have a cooldown. That's space bar. And you see here is the turrets. Ah, not good enough. But we didn't die yet, at least. Very good. Grab cycles require solid ground beneath them. So avoid steep ledges. You will have a limited window to correct your error before you and your vehicle plummet. So yeah, we will plummet if we go down here because the grab cycles Still need something underneath. Uh, we could try and see. Ah, uh, you hear the, the ding, ding, ding. Oh, we will probably have fallen down. So that's a good thing for you to remember. If you find that you need repairs, use your nano emitter. Fire it at the ground and enter the healing field. And Q is healing. 
You're doing very well. Let's move on to scanning. Now you see uh, it's like a healing sphere, so you have to go inside the healing thingy. So here we have the scanners who can watch these Great. things. Shoot that barrel. And here they pop up like a fuel and drum caution explosive do not shock or ignite. And uh, when you press uh, left side of the mouse, the guns come up. And uh, they also have a like a reload bar. And um, you see down to, to the left, it says uh, HV rifles 27. That's uh, your ammo. A new path is now open. Uh, and under that, you left. see uh, also a nano emitter. And now it's uh, loading. Engage the enemies ahead using your primary weapon. <laughs> I'm healing my enemies. <laughs> oh shit. Ah oh, shit, I tried to knock him down. So yeah. This is basic, just target them. So the small scroll wheel uh, on your leader. mouse, that's where you uh, zoom in. Oh. And you just press down. Oh yeah, th that's unit. You command him Roger. by by clicking on uh, the yep. right side of the mouse. So we, we might not fit in here, or if yep. we wouldn't fit, we can just uh, make him go in, and he can also use like uh, computers and such. Should you cancel a command, your units will return to your position and follow. The See, we're locked out, but he can still uh, do all of that. But by pressing F, he will come back to, to us. For a period of time. But we could also have commanded him to go yep. over here. Use scan mode to search for interactables in the environment. And E is scanner. Good work. You can use your command pulse to have your unit interact with the scanned object. And by right clicking on him, not, not right click on mouse on the PC, Let's he will go there. He will look, fix it. We'll start by temporarily disabling your graph cycle's weapons. You'll need to work with your unit using only the command pulse. Yep. You can also use the command pulse to have your units prioritize targets. Mm. Yeah, I would say he's a robot prioritizing too. Prioritizing the target dummies using the command pulse. Targeting. Um, but uh, he also have like a uh, special. Uh, press number one on the keyboard. Copy. It will throw an aid. Yep. Finish them off. Ah, he's so close ranged. You got it. Come on. Take it out. No. Got it. Go closer. We have to. Uh, we have to get that close combat. Yep. Going for the kill. Nice. Ah, close. For return to you after they have eliminated the prioritized target. Good work. Each unit is equipped with a special ability. Using the unit ability control, your units will deploy their special ability on a target or location. So yeah, we have to go and get close. So uh, this is a really good training for you if you're not used to how to command your units. And uh, there's different types of units as well, and uh, they will have different specialities. So uh, it's a great way to get used to, to how they interact. What are their special abilities? Right away. Going for the kill. 
Ah, oh, shit, he should have went back here. These abilities can be pivotal in a combat situation. You may proceed to the next area. Ah. It takes too long. So yeah, let's give up a little bit. Yep. Oh yeah, here's the, uh, the second one. A completely downed unit, you will first need to retrieve their brain can. So yeah, definitely a robot. They're down! Um, so yeah, I was so close to the dead body, so uh, the, the brain can came uh, flying and uh, to, to me, and after that, um, they respawned. Um, not at full health though. You can well see the done. health of our units uh, to, the to the left. For a live combat test. Yep. Uh, the special ability of the second unit that we have uh, right here. Uh, she throws out a field that will slow down enemies. Every unit in your squad will always fight by your side. But it's the Grav Cycle Pilot's commands that will increase their effectiveness in battle. To pass this test, all enemy combatants must be eliminated. Good no. Luck. You got it. Not ready yet. So now we gotta wait until it's done. Right away. Okay. You're doing good. Uh he's behind the cubicle, no? Reloading. Dealt with. You have taken some hits. Scan the area for a nano repair station. And then scanning is uh, through E. Yep. And uh, we, we are commanding them to destroy it. And here is. During combat, damaged enemies will enter a vulnerable state. It is during this state that they become susceptible to critical damage. Capitalizing on this state can be key when engaging stronger enemy units. Yeah, I like stunned, probably. Mm. And you see, they're running in slow mo. But they moved normally inside it. So that was pretty dope though. Ah, throwing nade. And they were also stunned. And th this is pretty cool. You can destroy some defenses. Uh, let's see how good is uh, the nades. I'm not ready. Throw on me. I need help. You got it. Oh shit. <laughs> ah! right, Whoa, yeah. This is good. Now we have to see um, how this uh, works. I kinda accidentally killed her, but there we go. Congratulations. You have completed the graph cycle training program. It was for the video. It was for the video. So yeah, if you wanna get used to how the battle goes, like that's a really good training. Like you even though I, I played the exercise a little bit before to get used to the controls. I did uh, still um, screw up a little bit, but uh, it's a great way to get used to to the vehicle that you're driving and for sure the, if you play mostly multiplayer they still have the sandbox, we will do the sandbox in another video, but uh, thank you for watching 
this video and if you had a any use of it uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel we are we're moving to uh, 1k subs so help me out with that one and uh, also leave that like i would appreciate it but yeah i will be playing through the story mode and i will upload those clips to youtube as well so you better pay attention because it will be a hell hell a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I will leave it all the links down below and yeah, have a really good one. Thank you and bye bye. Have fun with this integration.